Hi, afternoon again. Uh, I just received my uh, rack, that uh, metal rack that I fabric uh, asked someone to fabricate. I just received it today. So, since I have the rack, I will need to assemble uh, the grow bit. Since uh, I'm starting it from scratch, I might as well make a video of how to make the bell siphon that I normally use, the 25 millimeter uh, bell siphon. And what you have in front here are all the components to make this <coughs> the simple uh, bell siphon. Uh, let me just walk through uh, the components uh, involved from the extreme right. This is the reducer that I normally use. Uh, reducer which is a 50 millimeter to 25 millimeter. Since I'm using a 25 millimeter um, uh, standpipe, uh, the basic standpipe of 25 millimeter. If you decide to use a smaller standpipe like 20 or even 15 millimeter, you should use a reducer appropriate to that size. Uh, I even test with uh, 40 to 25 or 32 to 25, it still works. So this is the reducer. If you can't find a reducer, there are few people that have made it with, with uh, uh, pet bottles or as I made uh, on certain occasion when I heat treat the pipe and widen it up to make it into a funnel. So this will make the water swirl and uh, make it uh, having a better uh, suction uh, via the venturi effect of the uh, reducer. Then you need uh, a piece of 25 millimeter uh, PVC pipe. This is a tank tank coupling uh, for water tank couplings and uh, bulkhead fittings on some places. This is an old one. Uh, what I did here is uh, I drill a small four millimeter uh, drip hole so uh, i've used a sort of standard drill to drill out the four millimeter drip hole so this is not required uh, on a basic standpipe siphon but uh, what i normally do is i switch off the pump at night so when i switch off the pump at night i want the water to be drip slowly drip out of the grow bit otherwise there will be water long throughout the night so if you do not practice uh, switching off the pump at night, this is not a really uh, mandatory item to have, but it's highly recommended to have it so that uh, if there's a power failure or something happened to the electricity supply, uh, water will slowly drip out and, uh, and uh, will not uh, give the water tank a water log. It's also an indication of the system working properly. If you see a small drip of water coming out from the siphon outlet, then it's, everything works fine. And you have, this is at the bottom of the uh, siphon, the one that attached to the outlet. This is a um, 25mm fittings. Then you have another piece of 25mm pipe. PVC pipe. The length doesn't really that much uh, of a uh, important. It's roughly around four inches, five inches, depend on your installation. An elbow. Then to complete the outlet is the horizontal part. And on certain installation, we may need uh, another elbow to have a double elbow kind of installation. But the real basic uh, siphon will only require one elbow. And the bell is comprised of this 80 millimeter uh, PVC pipe. I made crowns cut out. Initially, what I did, I cut into uh, for two um, uh, bell. Then I drill with a hole saw all around. Then I cut and in it, I got two uh, bell in one go. And the cap, the end cap, to complete the bell. No glue required. It's, quite the uh, airtight uh, for siphon operation just to that's how the bell is made okay this good enough you don't require to put any glue it will work then last uh, not this uh, strainer this is the water gray water pipe this is the 110 millimeter uh, gray water pipe I drill a lot of holes at the bottom 
just about four rolls, four rolls of holes with 10 millimeter uh, tile drill. This is what I use. It's a 10 millimeter uh, tile drill. It's one of the best to make this kind of holes. You make a clean cut as compared to uh, the standard drill bit. And uh, the last 15-20% uh, of uh, uh, strainer is good enough to be drilled. The, the top part, you don't require to have it uh, make any hole. Some people will use uh, angle grinder to make uh, slots. This is also good because uh, there's no uh, uh, right way or wrong way to make a strainer. So as long as you can protect the siphon belt from any um, uh, stones to clog to clog it, it's, it's, it's good enough. So at least uh, finally I have this uh, uh, just a cap. Uh, basically, what it's used for is to a bit cosmetic, but it's also sometimes a function that no gravel or pebbles will go through inside the the standpipe or the bell to disturb it. Right, let's assemble this and uh, and uh, we make it uh, uh, clear how, how we're going to assemble this. And this is the standard grow bit that I use. It's roughly around three and a half, uh, three feet by two and a half feet uh, grow bit. Uh, capacity around uh, thirty gallon. Uh, when it's empty but once you put pebbles it's roughly uh, uh, will take uh, very much less water okay. okay first thing you need to do is to drill a hole drill a hole for the standpipe depend on what size that uh, standpipe you use in my case I use a 32 millimeter hole saw this is 32 millimeter hole saw and uh, I just drill it and this this was an old uh, grow bit that I used for the last uh, four years and uh, it may be uh, a bit leaky now and uh, just for demonstration purpose it's no problem right let's uh, assemble the standpipe so what we need is the first three items just assemble the track pipe together right then you have the standpipe remove the screw that's the this is the seal that we need and next what you do is just put in the standpipe towards the uh, hole and secure it from the bottom let me remove all those items because uh, we want to really do it up properly Right. Just remove this. This stamp is about is about uh, too short for me for this particular grow bit. But it will work because uh, what I sometimes do is to put extender pipe to accommodate for the height of grow bit. This is much better. Right. Let's just use the newer stamp pipe. So what we'll do is. Put it in and just secure it on the bottom. I normally use a pipe wrench to tighten it up but uh, be careful you don't over tighten this okay just tighten it up with a pipe wrench do not over tighten because this is PVC now that's a very good uh, water seal right. we're still at the bottom uh, let's just do up the, the drain Right, the train will have this piece and uh, what I'm going to do the horizontal part is the longer of the two and that's it that's all and this part will just screw on to 
the outlet. That's the initial outlet point. Right. Uh, this length is uh, subjective, and you can, as I mentioned, you can have another elbow here to make a double elbow kind of outlet. And uh, on certain installation, I drill a lot of holes for aeration function. So now, what I did is to just put it here. Right, you have a siphon, which this is the outlet of siphon. Okay, let's uh, just put it back. Right. So there it goes. You can see that's the standpipe. Next is uh, what I do. I will put on the strainer. Since I'm going to do this uh, properly, the strainer what I will use is uh, hot glue and stick it to the grow bit. Let me switch on the hot glue for a while. Let it hot. Previously I was uh, I'm using a lot of uh, elastic. But elastic don't really uh, not that strong and it take a long time to cool. Uh, sorry, it take a long time to harden and get its strength but still not that good. So what I use is uh, just a hot glue and uh, that is much better. I need to uh, cool down around 5 minutes and all set. Just remove this camera and move it around. What we need to do is just to roughly center this. You can mark the, the area where you want to put it after you have centered this thing. Okay, let's just mark it so that uh, it's easier for me to re put it in the correct position. Well, it's roughly, well, it's still not center, but it's okay. It's roughly there. After we will just uh, center it properly. But it still works, doesn't make any difference. Because we are really looking at it uh, from the side. We don't really have it uh, proper. Let's see whether the glue has been has, uh, warm enough. Okay, still that, that hot. I forgot to switch it on earlier. I just uh, normally put it here at this point. When I stick it in, I will probably uh, put glue more around the strainer. Right, I've glued and let's put it in roughly it's around there. Not that, really that uh, critical. Okay, glue it down, then uh, put more glue. This is much better than elastic anyway. Initially, it's quite expensive because the glue gun is uh, it's more expensive than the elastic stick. It's elastic stick, but uh, in the long run, save you a lot of money. Okay, let's just glue it. I'm running out of glue stick. Right, it's been glued, and I probably need more glue stick to work. But uh, you got the idea. Oops. This uh, grow bit is very old, so an old grow bit uh, is uh, showing some crack. I may need. I may use this same glue gun to seal some of the crack and uh, just wait for a while for the glue to dry 
and then the switch is off and remove. Okay, so you have the strainers, the stand pipe, all in, and this is a, a stand pipe that I made for 12 inch uh, grow bit, uh, gravel height. Sometimes. Uh, I use this kind of uh, 50 millimeter PVC pipe to extend, to extend to make the stand pipe higher. So, as you can see, this is a sample stand pipe. Uh, normally, what I made is that the stand pipe will go to the lowest possible height, uh, water height that you you want. So. Then from then, that's the baseline. We add extender to adjust the water height. That is easier because during initial planting, you need water level to be high. At times, sometimes you need water level to be higher than the grow bed, uh, water gravel level. Uh, as the plant grows, you can gradually reduce by just removing this and uh, replacing it with shorter or high, longer extender to make it uh, work better okay uh, once dry this one is dry just put a stand there I will test it later on I'll make another video to test I'm, I'm sure this this thing works because from my earlier video that I made uh, two days ago uh, that's no problem and finally just put in the bell and put a cap all you need now is to put gravel and introduce water and what I recommend is uh, for this size of uh, uh, siphon I recommend uh, uh, water inflow of around 900 liter per hour uh, that is uh, the recommended it will work from around 400 liter per hour to 1500 liter per hour but just uh, use something on in between a halfway point and uh, then it will last longer the pump will tend to able to operate better and uh, you will not compromise with uh, uh, clogging of the pump and uh, siphon will continue to operate right uh, what I have is uh, let me show you where I'm going to put it in that's it okay I have another set which is here this is a smaller grow bed. What I want to do is later on is to put that grow bed that I just made on top of this water tank using that uh, rack. And I have two of this rack, one on each side. And I use a single pump that I've been testing all this while and just uh, divide it into two. And what will happen is that uh, water will be flowing into both the grow bed from this single tank and uh, I can uh, start to practice my aquaponic again I just got this uh, rack uh, delivered this morning so I can't wait uh, to get everything uh, ready and running and I'm very happy to see that uh, I will start this aquaponic uh, setup again right bye thank you thanks for watching